Hello everybody, welcome back to my name is Josh. I still use Jumpman eBay today is a Monday morning and we got 70 orders going out today. Um, great weekend of sales last week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sales were absolutely terrible. I don't, I don't know what happened. Actually, it was more like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Let's get my days correct here. That was the three days span. Then after that, we started ramping up and then been back to normal, been back to great sales ever since Friday. This is three days worth of orders with the all 70. I did not work on, well, I kind of worked on Friday. Drove down to my parents, picked up a whole bunch of stuff. I got one pallet full of DVDs and CDs that is loaded in the trailer now. This thing is like four foot tall. It is like massive, like whew, barely fit in the trailer. So I might show you guys just that at the end of the video real quick, kind of talk about my plan to go through it. It is supposed to be from an Amazon bookseller. They might sell on eBay too. They're supposed to be thrift store donations and they just don't want the CDs and DVDs. So they throw them into a separate pallet. Supposedly they're not scanned. Um, did look through there, saw a couple of good things. There's, of course, some empty cases, some loose discs, that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll go, I'll talk about that a little bit through the video. If it quits snowing, because it's snowing outside right now. Um, but we got a lot to ship today. Luckily, sales have come back. That's just part of eBay. Sometimes sales go down, sometimes they go up. There's not a lot you can really do about it, unfortunately, besides when sales are low, you just list more so that when sales are high, you'll sell more. Just keep at it. Be consistent. List good stuff and it will sell. We got some great stuff going out today. We got some not so good stuff going out today and I'm going to show you guys all of that. We are down in the second unit first just because it kind of happened today. I've been all over the place trying to find all these 70 items. Done really good. One thing I did today that I don't do every single day but I should is instead of pulling orders from the eBay app, I pull orders using my phone because we're at the storage unit. It's Instead of using the app, I actually went to Safari, the web browser on my phone, and looked at my orders awaiting shipment and sorted them by custom SKU. That way, in case I had two CDs out of this drawer here, I could pull them both at the same time. Cannot sort them that way yet on your phone, but hopefully soon we can, because they're changing up a lot of things on my phone app the last couple of weeks. That leads me to believe we're gonna be able to do that soon. So yeah, that's a quick little tip of the day. Let's see what's sold. All right, laid everything out from this storage unit here on the cart. This, the buyer just asked me to cancel because they found their copy of the book. So we're actually gonna put that back. That goes in here. Uh, if I can get it in there on camera. There we go, and it's back in there. So much fun. These things happen. I'm going to cancel because I don't want them to return it. So we're just gonna do exactly what they say. If they wanna cancel, let a buyer cancel. It's that simple. Here we go. We got a flag going out. This is like an Easter one. So glad it sold. I've got a whole bunch of these in the store. Bought them for a dollar a piece, probably 50 of them. Not sold enough of them. It's been a couple of years now. Not a great buy. I feel like these do brand better if they've got like some sort of licensing on them, like Winnie the Pooh or Mickey Mouse, stuff like that. But just generic, even Easter, not selling too good. These are more like garden type flags. Got $8 plus shipping on this one, and it took two years. They do sell, store really easily. It was easy to list them, but man, it's taking a long time. One pair of American Eagle jeans. Unfortunately, these are size zero. Sizes is very important on jeans. I'm going to go tomorrow, buy a few hundred pairs of jeans, maybe. And maybe some scrubs. We'll see. So, if you want to see that video, go ahead and subscribe, because I'm sure I will talk about that one. Here's another pair of jeans. This is a pair of more modern Levi's. Did not do so good on these. They'd been listed in the store a really long time. I'd marked them down to $10, and then somebody sent me an offer that is really low. I'll put it up on the screen. Don't remember what it is, but we sold it. Here's some sort of pearl snap shirt, I believe. Don't remember much about it, but it did sell. We have some hats going out, vintage USA hat. I had two copies of this hat. Made by Starter. I believe this was an Olympics hat. Yeah, it was. Atlanta 96. This Atlanta stuff is starting to do just a little bit better than it was, you know, three, four, five years ago. So happy to see that. Atlanta hat, that one out. Basic Oklahoma Sooners hat. And one basic John Deere hat. These basic modern John Deere hats, so plentiful. Almost not even worth listing, but I sold it. I'm happy to do that. We got some CDs, Turkish Dances, Jake and Sarah Owen, a little bluegrass right there, Ernest Stoneman, 1928, and Nancy Sloys. 
Somebody told me the other day that artists never put out music after they pass away, but apparently these people did. Nancy Silloway's Best of Friends. I mean, is that not the coolest cover album you've ever seen? Like, crazy. Here we got a stack of books. American Girl, a lot of eight. Sold those. Two movies. These are both The Incredibles, Blu-rays. Kids actually watched these both before I sold them, so got even more value out of them this way. These are some audiobooks. I should not have picked these up. Got these from a library sale. It was one of those like fill a bag at the library sales, and I just kind of threw these in at the last minute. I got some like dirt recently. Oh, that came from that distributor. I need to clean that off. Anyways, these came from a library fill a bag sale where I just had like a little bit extra space in my bag, so I threw these in there. It took a couple years to sell, got a few dollars, so hey. Buy cost is basically zero. One cassette tape, I find a lot of these Native American cassette tapes around here. So we are in Tahlequah, capital of the Cherokees, but this is this land, The Land is Your Mother by Floyd Westerm, Westerman. A lot of this stuff there is none listing for it, no comps. A lot of times it's not even on Discogs. That I will typically that type of thing I typically list at fifteen dollars. This one ended up selling right around ten dollars. Another one of these science and invention encyclopedias going out, volume eleven. This was not necessarily a good idea to piece out this lot, but they have actually picked up in sales this year. Don't know why. I guess my competition has maybe sold out, so maybe I'm doing better. Here we got a vest, Duluth Trading Company. I kind of like this vest now that we've sold it. Sherpa line, got the zipper. Nice looking vest. Here's a Harley part. I think we're around $100 on that right there. If you are not buying car parts or motorcycle parts or anything like that, you're missing out. That one went good. This little piece of metal. Look, this hunk of metal. Got $80 for it. Here is a set of cassette tapes. I didn't think these would be worth anything. Usually cassette tapes looking like this. Not worth much. But I think we got around $20 for this lot. Great economic thinkers economics so just specialized enough to make it worth it two more harley parts these are like some sort of washers or something windshield bushings sold those as a pair part to a volkswagen pretty cool and another part to a harley lots and lots of car the motorcycle parts selling doing really good if you look at these four cells those are some of the four best cells we had over the weekend H.L. Davis, Honey in the Horn. A little book going out. Got this cute little brooch. We got like $12 on this guy. Little turtle. Got a pin back on it. And actually a breakable thing. This was from when I actually brought breakables to the store, which I don't do anymore because I've broken them here before. It's like, let's go to a ceiling fan. So the glass. I think we got two of those left. Those are the only breakables we have here. One pair of shoes. This was in the oldest 10% of my store. I'd marked these down January 1st to $10 and then accepted a lower offer. And then some Miss Me jeans. These have really died off in the last couple of years. This back bling pocket used to be very, very popular, but the last couple of years, man, demand for them has just sunk. And last but not least, we got a lot of fine woodworking magazines. And these all are in a row, 37 to 40. 51. So yeah, that is everything in this first unit. We're gonna get this all gathered up and go down to the other unit and see what goodies we have down there. All right, so on Mondays, I like to kind of sit and talk to this camera for a second and decide what we're going to be doing for this week. So today's Monday, lots of shipping. That's what we're gonna be doing the, a good chunk of the day, honestly. I already took some photographs of one box of books this morning because I didn't have any photos on my phone to list from which is a no-no. I'm supposed to always have photos ready to go so I can list in the mornings. So I got some photographs. I'll probably list those. This is like five or six books this morning from that, and I'll probably list the rest tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is Tuesday. We don't have to ship tomorrow. We will take a load of bulk books to the used bookstore here in town. I take them four milk crates twice a week for trading credit. I'll do that tomorrow. And also tomorrow... I've got to go buy some jeans from a guy that's got a whole bunch of jeans. So probably, I don't know how many hundreds of pairs he's got. He's also got some scrubs he's wanting to sell me. I'm not too keen on those, but if, if the price is right, I'll buy them. So we will see on those. 
several hundred pairs of scrubs. They can lots, they can lots by size and move them fast as the what to do with those. Um, let's see what else. I gotta get sorting on that palette of CDs and DVDs. Probably if I can get an hour or two this afternoon after we're done shipping, that's what we're going to be doing is sorting on that. So I've got to get that out of the trailer fast so we can go buy more books. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the plan for this week. Tackle the jeans, tackle the CDs and DVDs, try and get through those as much as we possibly can. Um, everything else will just kind of sit on the back burner for now. Anyways, let's see what's sold. All right, so we got a pile of bulk lots here. Starting off with the CDs. These are all kind of like Japanese pop. Got six of them there. These are kind of neat. These are like encyclopedia yearbooks. And there was also an encyclopedia set that I had. I separated the two, but they're like much smaller than your normal encyclopedia. So that's pretty cool. This is a commentary set. I'm trying to remember the name on it, but I can't. I've sold this three or four times. I'm thinking about keeping the next set I come across. I don't know. It's a good commentary set, I think. And then last but not least, we have a set of these Reader's Digest books. These are all the ones with the decorative covers. I just, when I, I don't buy these, but if I find them in a bulk lot or something like that, I'll take them. Or if they're in a free box somewhere, I will take them. But don't pay a dollar a piece for them by any means. Let's look at CDs. We got To Go, music from West Africa. And then up here we got... Shipping news. Shipping news means we are going to be shipping a lot today. And we got Landon, One Woman Army. Very interesting. This is a night. So this, I listed this not too long ago. It sold fairly quickly. It's a, it's a like rugby style shirt, which do really good on eBay right now. But it's, it has the word grandpa on it, which I think kind of actually hurt the value on it. So I listed it a little bit lower because it's like it's not the right style. But anyways. We sold sewing machine motor, sewing machine foot pedal. We got this top cover to a sewing machine and some little gear to a sewing machine. Selling all of those. We got sewing machine part, sewing machine part, and two more sewing machine parts. Just gonna make a big pile of them over there. Sewing machine part, sewing machine part, sewing machine part. It should be all of them. If you want to see how I sell sewing machines, check out my channel. I've got a video that outlines it quite a bit, but doing real good. Usually between $1,000 to $2,000 a month in sales. Just those. Here's the old photograph, Cottonelle Divide Wolf Creek Pass. Pretty cool. It's neat. It's got like a family here, I believe. Those are potatoes, if I remember correctly, that they are farming here. They got all the little carriers. Pretty cool. And then this sold during the Super Bowl. That's an old, I believe that's like some sort of football uniform. That's what I labeled it as with a question mark. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't think this one is going to fit in my standard envelopes though. So I think I'm actually going to have to ship that ground advantage. So we're going to put those there for now. Put them in the cover of a book in just a minute so they don't get bent up. We got Blacktop on DVD going out. This book right here. Very bad condition, unfortunately, but still managed to sell it. This happened in the hills of Kentucky by Vogel. And then we also have Methods of Advanced Calculus by Franklin. So lots of religious stuff, which I believe this Kentucky one is. And lots of science slash math stuff is what we are selling as far as books right now. So what I sell the most of when we're talking about books. Two pieces of fabric. These are new listings. These make like aprons. Got these from my uncle a while back. Yeah, those sold. Um, here is a Motley Crue shirt. This is like 2010, so like halfway to being vintage, but it's not there yet. It's a women's, so it sold for a few dollars. And one pair of vintage kids Levi's with the orange tabs. Very cool. We got some Nintendo games. We got Gorilla War on the NES. We got Truck Rage Wars on the Nintendo 64. And then the best one we have is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 on the Nintendo 64. I remember playing that. Fun game. Good memories there. So let's put those in the bag. And then, oh wait, we missed one. Sewing machine parts. I think we got like 10 or $12 for this little guy, if I remember correctly. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 
Last but not least, we got some books. Born Free by Joy, Joy Adamson. This one was X Library, so I got a little bit less for it. I think we got $8. The Warrior, some yearbook. I think Glenpool got $30. Bible Storybook, Deluxe Edition. Bolton Hills Classic Baltimore Neighborhoods sold this on Poshmark. These are types of books I'm trying to list on Poshmark. More things are like artsy or neighborhoods. This one's got some like architecture type stuff in it. Trying to list a few on there, try them out. One did sell. And last but not least, we have this reading readiness, basic language skills, kind of like test learning book. And that's everything we have in this unit. So yeah. So I guess I will take you guys home real quickly, show you that big palette Gaylord of CDs and DVDs, talk about my plan for that, and then I'll show you how to ship something as well. So stay tuned if you want to see that. Let's go there. All right, so here's the palette I got. Um, let me just turn the camera around so you guys can actually see this thing. This trailer is like full. This thing barely fit between the two doors and had like half an inch up here on the top. Luckily we were able to get it in. Let me just turn this camera around. We do have two sewing machines on here on the bottom, this empty crate I'm about to use, but this thing up here, let's take you inside. Completely full DVDs and CDs. I did throw some books on top of this also that I was, I'd picked up the same day from a different place. I think I have those all cleared off now. But anyways, the plan here is we're gonna start scanning these with Scoutly to send to either Amazon or eBay. I don't think I'm going to bother sending any of these to sell back your book or anything like that. We are just, look, there's a book there. I think that's what I missed just a second ago. Um, I just haven't had good luck with them with disc-based media in the past. So I think all of these are going to be either eBay or Amazon. Now, things are not worth selling individually on eBay or Amazon. First off, if they're scratched, I'm pretty much just throwing them in the trash. It's not worth resurfacing discs that that we're gonna be selling in lots. If they're in good condition, we will sell them in lots. So I am gonna to have to inspect each of these discs as we go through here. Ones that we're selling individually, we will resurface if needed. Ones not worth selling individually. I think what I'm gonna to try to do is actually pull them out and maybe sell a lot of loose discs. I don't know yet. Don't know, we might try that, but anyways. All right, I'm gonna show you guys real quickly how I ship out my sewing machine motors. We got a nice little motor with a switch here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a little bit of this bubble wrap. We're gonna wrap it around there once or twice. Nice and easy. We're gonna take that, drop it into a box. These are eight by six by four. The size I keep on hand all the time. It's really great. Also with eBay now offering cubic rate shipping, you can get these a little bit cheaper than you could previously. Previously, I was going to pirate ship for a lot of these packages that were in the one to two pound range, but small like this one, eight by six by four. Now well, this is going to be two pounds, eight by six by four, maybe three pounds. I'll wait here in a second. Eight by six by four box. It's going to ship out right now, probably around seven, eight bucks, depending on where it's going. And that's how I ship out my sewing machine motors. Say like and subscribe. Yeah, All right, bye. bye.